COEP closing green and traditional market close, but continues to the downside in the aftermarket. And I think I know why. Let's go ahead and go over those potentials now. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by once again. This is Arca coming at you with a COEP technicals and raw price action threat of analysis on this Taco Tuesday. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share the video with a friend so that you and them could consider joining our trading community in Discord called Arca Bulls. With that said, Let's dive right into the charts. Okay, you guys. So I would like to reference here that uh, yes, the daily the daily closed in the green, right? But like I said, we actually moved. Conti we continue to the downside. Please notice here the one thirty on the daily, and then on the twelve hour here, you can see the one twenty six close. Okay, so I I would like to point something out here. Okay, so we have noted before the importance of this zone here okay so we have faced some significant bounces to the upside from this zone okay this being one of them right here this being another right over here this being the primary test over here this being another one over here and this being another one actually that we faced just recently but notice that we are coming back down yet again okay so th this is what i'm looking at here please notice here that we actually got that bounce we made to the upside but we ended up coming back down once again. And please notice that the second time around, we actually got a massive bounce to the upside. Now, th the reason why I'm pointing this out is not the bounce to the upside, is where the bounce happened from. So starting from this candle here, okay, please notice the closure of this candle. So you can actually see on the close over here where it says C, right? So hovering over that candle where it says C is 130. Okay, now look at this candle here. So we closed at 130 as well. And it is the candle right before the candle that actually led to, va to validating this test one more time before a massive move to the upside. Okay, so notice that we closed right at it before getting this candle and then we got that rip. Okay, so now seeing that the 12 hour is closing at $1.26, then there is a higher likelihood for us to actually validate this and use it as another uh, round of demand before a massive continuation to the upside. Okay, you guys, so it is looking like it is going to do that. Okay, so this could be presenting a pretty interesting opportunity within this target yet again. Okay, because... Uh, not one target has actually failed. In fact, this is these are daily iterations here, okay? So this particular time here actually came back down, tested, made that move all the way up to uh, all the way up again and came back down, right? This move here actually tested that uh, that support zone, huge move to the upside, right? So nice. So, so it's just that's what I'm kind of noticing here, okay? So touchdown upside move, touchdown again, massive upside move. All right, you guys, so that is kind of what I'm looking at here, and I do see a high probability of this happening, okay? So definitely expect uh, a support touch of between the area of 123 and 120 in the coming session, and there could be a pretty significant bounce from this uh, target here, okay? So full transparency, I may actually long this uh, 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 again, or, or actually, well, Actually, I'm still in. Oh, yeah, that, that's right. I'm still in at uh, my, my runners. My goodness. So I got stopped out for primarily 75% of the position, and I still have... Uh, it's, I still have room to actually come back in since I got stopped out two times, all right? So three stop losses for my particular strategy, and the second one has realized, the third one has not, okay? So this would be uh, right around here. This would be my uh, entry zone one more time, okay, you guys? So let's go ahead and continue on the analysis here and take a look at something else, okay? So I would just like for you to notice that there is kind of a chop zone here that we're trading, right? So, I mean, arguably, of course, it can be uh it can also be something like this right let me just go ahead and take a uh yeah i can just take a trend line just like this let me see where it would be most uh appropriate right so i think this is actually a little too high but i guess we could consider that right so it's something like this this could be the absolute top of the range right but it's just a chop box that we are currently in. Okay, so you know we, we are trading within this range and a lot of the trading is happening primarily within this area here. Okay, so, and we are getting dangerously close to that very strong demand zone that we're speaking of, right? So this, uh, there is a higher likelihood, guys, that we can actually face a pretty nice bounce here. And these are further reasons as to why 
that could be the case. Please notice here volatility approaching the critical volatility zone of about 90%. And we are still getting a, a, an expansion phase here well above the moving average. And moving average now pivoted towards the upside, suggesting that volatility is increasing here. Okay, you guys. So the and when you pair this volatility with momentum and you start getting an upside pivot here alongside critical volatility prints, then this would be indicative of a pretty large upside move. Okay, you guys, so I am still I am still looking at COEP for making I'm still looking for COEP to make its actual fifth and true breakout test of this top side here of this broadening descending wedge. Okay, you guys. So it is looking it is looking fairly, fairly nice uh, for the coming days. And to validate the potential of the touchdown of the of the support bottoms and bounce from it is within the RSI. Check this out. Uh, hourly time frame crossing below the 14 day simple moving average. We are we are in that gravitational zone, so the downside could be a little limited here, okay? But what is indicative of a continuation to the downside is the four-hour time frame, okay? So the four-hour time frame now dodging that gravitational zone from the bear strength percentile, moving average also with a downside pivot. We have a downside pivot on the eight-hour validating that four-hour as well. And now as you start to see the daily, you actually start to see that that downside pivot is not as significant anymore. And now as you jump into the three-day, Please notice that the three day does not have a downside pivot at all. In fact, it has an upside pivot and finding support from the 14 day simple. Same situation here with the five day time frame. OK, you guys. So this is why I'm saying that it is a high likelihood is it is a. Yeah, it is a high likelihood that we actually come back down to validate that 123 to 120 level before finding a pretty substantial bounce to the upside. OK, you guys. So this is looking very promising for COEP uh, via the physics. OK, so. Uh, yeah, so definitely uh, maybe within the next day or or uh, let's see, maybe, yeah, maybe Wednesday or Thursday, we can actually see that 120 to 123 touch uh, followed by a bounce to the upside. OK, you guys, so please remember that uh, first and foremost, I am not a financial advisor. OK, you guys, I'm still offering the Arc Masters trading course and uh, it is uh, this is the last course that I'm going to teach you guys. So I need to concentrate on trading. I will uh, get back to that. Right. So this is the last one I will teach. I still have a few seats available left from the 30 that were offered so please go ahead and find the email in the description below and send uh over your inquiry we'll get you enrolled okay you guys and uh, uh yeah please remember that i cannot suggest for you to buy or sell any assets whatsoever and i need you to do your own due diligence okay and everything will be good all right you guys but with that said i wish you well a very good night and i will catch you at the bell manana adios